Now at 530, a judge just granted a temporary injunction to block the Florida Education Secretary from requiring all school campuses to reopen, ruling the move unconstitutional. Students in Miami-Dade County prepare to head back virtually next week. The effect of COVID-19 on students has been enormous. Sure has. Miami-Dade Public Schools begin remote learning next Monday. This week, online preparation for what's to come. CBS 4 Steve Goldstein has more. Elliot Lauren, day one did have some issues today as Miami Dade Public Schools started orientation. Now, Archdiocese schools have already started their classes, all of it online due to the pandemic. Miami Dade Public begins on August 31st, and this morning, what they call the week of welcome got underway. Technical issues got in the way of online orientation. Once things got fixed, plenty of information of how school will work. Ranging from online safety to problem solving skills, the county hopes everyone is prepared for next Monday's start of school. Meanwhile, at St. Brendan Elementary School, classes are already underway. Teachers physically in school, while students are learning from home. Mackenzie, can you tell me what you call the person that draws the pictures in the book? Unmute yourself. Welcome to school in the year 2020. Reminders to unmute are necessary. For St. Brendan Principal Christina Capote, it's a team effort. The teachers have been amazing. They have, they, they purposely decorated their classrooms as if the children were coming back physically. But the terrific work put in by teachers doesn't cover everything. There's a big technical aspect to this process. There's no doubt, right? I mean, when you're dealing with technology, there's always something's going to happen. There's always going to be a glitch somewhere. Um, as a matter of fact, today, one of our main platforms was having a glitch within their own headquarters, right? So it's a matter of, you know, thankfully, we have an excellent IT department. And it takes even more to pull it off. Parents have been wonderful, very supportive, um, understanding, very patient, and we are extremely blessed that we have a community which is as supportive and loving as, as it is here. It's all of these elements coming together, allowing school to function properly. It's 1214. This class will be over at 1230, so please make sure that your work is submitted on time. Thank you so much. Mateo, I see that you've submitted your work. Everyone making the best of a tough situation the best they can. The real goal out of all of this, get the virus under control and get kids back in school. Live in the newsroom, Steve Goldstein, CBS 4 News.